Hey everybody, this is Matt. How are you guys doing? So, it's been a while since I talked to you guys. I actually talked to you guys. I was meaning to make a Happy New Year's back in January for the year of 2017, so sorry about that. Uh, so, if it's any consolidation, Happy 2017 so far. Hope you guys are having a great year and it's not been too stressful. So, I have a few announcements that I want to make for you guys to kind of bring you up to speed about what's ha been happening with this channel. Nothing too serious that's going to basically kowtow my channel. Uh, the first thing is a lot of you guys were well aware of the PewDiePie incident, the PewDiePie gate that happened uh, back last month. Uh, one of the results that happened from PewDiePie getting let go from makers is makers made the decision to let go the majority of their channels and they're going to be doing that pretty soon and i am one of those channels actually i have been with maker since the end of 2012 so almost two and a four and a half years i've been with them and this a little incident with pewdiepie which i i totally support by the way i i do not have any grudge against them for what happened that was not his fault because of the PewDiePie gate incident, basically a lot of channels are being let go at the end of March. And I am going to be one of those, so I'm going to be without a network as of the 27th of March. And I can view that as actually either a good thing or a bad thing. It's a good thing because I don't know that my arrangement with makers was all that great. They didn't really do anything for me. The only thing that was good about being a part of a network was basically i didn't really have to explain directly to google that i make my own music and that a lot of times when you're a musician that can be a real pain at least five years ago that was the case i knew a lot of people even besides myself that when they they wrote uh, music and they put it in their own music uh, own video they had a hell of a time trying to explain to youtube that they wrote their own music because apparently Google doesn't have any confidence or they don't, they feel like you're not able to do that sort of thing. They feel like only professionals can make music. And so when you submit a video and there's background music and you apply for AdSense on that video, a lot of times what you would get is basically uh, a demonetization of the video and then an explanation that you have to provide proof, quote unquote proof, that uh, you wrote the music in question. And that was a lot more difficult because the people on the other end weren't really accepting of any proof. And so you ended up with super skeptical people that just basically didn't uh, approve of the monetization. So I think I have a strategy going forward and that is basically to use the permission form on my own website for my own music. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically give myself permission in the future to use my music by basically um, constructing my own permission form and time stamping that and, and sending them the PDF. For those of you who uh, are still a part of networks or have never actually gone directly to AdSense, uh, back, back about three or four years ago, uh, my users of music were having a hell of a time trying to prove to YouTube that they were like they, they were able to use my music, they, that they had permission to use my music. Um, and in defense of that, I, I tried to make kind of like a, a universal uh, permission form, but it ran into a lot of problems and people were coming back yeah, after about a year or so stating that they weren't accepting the, the permission form anymore. And so I was kind of forced to write this program that made a PDF, a PDF uh, format uh, file that was timestamped, basically stating that um, uh, I was giving you permission to use my music. So, and I feel like that's probably the best way to go about doing things because I don't think I've heard any more complaints. I've really not received any more complaints that these permission forms don't work since that modification. And that was about that was in late 2013 that I did that. So, you know, fingers crossed, knock on wood and stuff like that. But it feels like that would be the solution for me as well to basically prove that I 
I, I, I write my own music. But in any case, that is one announcement. I have another announcement to make to you guys. I started to uh, broadcast on Twitch the other day. Uh, yesterday, I made a stream just to see how it would go. And I remixed a track of mine. Uh, it was called Bubble G-Funk Electro. And it's a track that I made in early 2014. And I decided to remix for you, for you guys on Twitch. And it turned out pretty well. There was like a couple of viewers that were pretty interested in what I was doing. And I realized after the fact that I probably should have made an announcement video if you guys actually wanted to see me. Uh, I should have probably have made a an announcement video on YouTube that I was doing this sort of thing. But it was late at night. It was like I had basically decided to do this thing on the fly. But it was kind of like a groundbreaking thing where uh, I was seeing if I could actually make the stream uh, interesting for a couple hours. And it was. And I feel like if you guys wanted me to do more of this stuff, I can maybe uh, schedule a few Twitch streams where I'm basically uh, going through the process of writing a music track for you guys and seeing, let you guys see how the track develops over time. Um, and that's not not all the time. I, can, I don't have to do that all the time. I can actually just basically do some gameplay for you guys as well. But and obviously I'd be playing my own music in the background. So you guys can kind of have a taste of what I'm using at the moment. But in any case, that is what I have for Twitch. Uh, I hope you guys have a little bit of advice for me because that was really the first time I've ever really live broadcasted myself on uh, Twitch. And so it was kind of a new experience, but I'm sure a lot of you guys have more experience than I do. Uh, other things, uh, I think one last thing is that I have actually started up writing intro tracks again. Uh, I haven't really been gung ho about it, but I've basically been slowing, slowly adding tracks to that playlist uh, because some of you guys have actually requested that I started that up again. And I'm trying to figure out the best way to do it. Uh, and the reason why I'm seeing that way uh, is because uh, intro tracks are kind of an interesting deal. Like they are only 10 to like 30 seconds long. And so uh, part of me feels kind of guilty trying to throw that kind of thing at you guys uh, on your subscription feed. You know, it's basically a 30 second track that I'm putting on your sub feed, which is it, there's not enough meat there that I feel like that would be something that you would actually like there. And so most of the tracks that I submitted uh, as intro are basically unlisted, but they're listed in the intro tracks that are on my channel. And so I'm trying to figure out the best way to advertise that one specific playlist. Like if you need an intro track and you don't need like a seven minute or a three minute song, you need a 30 second bite. I can understand why you need that. Uh, so that that uh, uh, playlist is there and I'm slowly updating it. But um, I, I need a better way than the subscription feed, I guess, to basically let you know that those the, that uh, that intro playlist is there. You know, who knows? Maybe I might uh, start up uh, gaming on the main channel again and then use one of those intros and then just kind of link to the intro playlist so you guys have an idea that that uh, playlist is there and, and you can basically utilize whatever there is there for the uh, resources and stuff like that. So I will be making like uh, like original intros and I will also try and break apart some of my other stuff that I've already done into like 30 second chunks that you could basically use um, in your videos for like intro tracks and stuff like that. And that way it'll keep uh, like some new fresh material in there, but you can also basically use parts of my other songs that you probably like uh, if you don't want to basically have something like brand new and probably like reference some of my previous songs as well. Um, but uh, with that in mind, I actually have one more announcement and that is I'm starting to modify my website. I'm probably, I'm starting to redesign my website once again, and I'm going to be, yes, I've, I'm kind of like uh, worse than Google in this fact, and that I think Google has not really redesigned their, their webpage, 
their um, channel uh, pages in quite a while now, since like late 2013. So they've kind of kept their some themselves consistent, knock on wood. Uh, but uh, I've basically been trying to kind of find a better way to present my material to you guys. And um, in that way, you know, better, uh, better categorize my stuff. So it's easier to, for you guys to find the things that you want. Um, so one of the things I'm doing is I'm building a new database core um, that will better handle the data. And um, one of the things that I want to do is allow you guys to either subscribe to certain genres on the website. Uh, so if you subscribe to a genre on my website it, and I update that genre, it will maybe either email you that I have updated that genre with a new track or it will use a push push notification on your or browser to uh, tell you that I've updated that specific genre with a, a new track those push notifications i'm sure you guys know what they are by now but uh, essentially what they are are basically announcements that basically uh, appear on your lower right side of the monitor when your chrome browser is up uh, stating that something you've basically um, uh, activated for a push notification is updated it's like say if you like you're on a, a news website or something like that you want to receive their articles and uh, uh, basically read their articles as soon as they come out. You can basically opt to basically uh, activate the push notifications and they will send you those notifications when they update their site with new material. And so that's basically one of the things that I was thinking of doing. Also with the new database, I hope to finally, finally add a search engine for you guys. I know that you guys have been asking that for a long, long time and also include some better uh, community tools for you guys. I uh, I got to say that I, I thought I had the problem solved with my my board, my my bulletin board, my forum that uh, that uh, allowed you guys to post videos on my website for like advertising and to like plug yourselves. But man, the the PHP BB3 bots have been ruthless this this last year. Uh, so I basically got basically a, a a gig of nothing but spam on those boards. And so I'm working on a better solution for you guys to basically be able to interact with the sites. Uh, one of the ideas that I had is basically to construct kind of a, a Twitter like feed on it, so you guys can basically post videos instead of like going through these long uh forum lists and forum topics you can basically do a hashtag video or something like that and i can basically make pages based on hashtags to basically post your videos in in whatever uh place that i want to basically have you guys advertise your stuff with so those are a few of the things uh this redesign is still kind of in its infant stage where I, I'm basically building up the, the database uh, categories and also user categories and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that. But I'd, I'd love to hear your feedback on any of the stuff that I, I talked out, uh, talked about today. I probably should go to sleep. It's very, it's very late. It's 1030 and I have to work in the morning and I'm sure you guys are tired as well. So I hope you guys have an excellent week and I'll see you guys later.